Hello guys and welcome in this video. In this video guys I'm gonna be so glad to share with you um, the users and a lot of information regarding spiral no lactone. Uh, guys before starting this video can you just help me by hitting the like button and subscribe into my channel that will help me and encourage me to do more videos. So guys please just hit the like button, subscribe and I will really appreciate that. So Spironolactone is a type of medicine called a diuretic. These medicines are sometimes called water or tablets because they make you pee more. It is also an anti-androgen, which means it stops male hormones, such as testosterone, from working. Spironolactone is used to treat a boil up of fluid in your body, caused by heart failure, Liver disease. It treats boiled up of fluid in your abdomen called ascites. Kidney disease. It treats a condition that causes your kidney to leak large amounts of protein into your pee called nephrotic syndrome. High level high levels of, of aldosterone, a hormone made by the adrenal glands. It can also be used to treat high blood pressure, hypertension, when other medicines have not worked. Spironolactone is only available on prescription. It comes as tablets. Spironolactone also comes as tablets that contain other diuretics. When it's mixed with furosemide, it's called by the brand name Lacilactone. When it's mixed with hydrofluoman, TSZ is called by brand name Alda Stig. Some key facts. You will usually take spironolactone once a day in the morning. Some people need to take it twice a day. If you are taking it twice a day, take the second dose before 4 p.m. Take spironolactone with food to help stop you feeling or being sick. The most common side effect of spironolactone is high potassium levels. Your doctor will give you blood tests while you are taking spironolactone to make sure your potassium levels are stable. Do not have low sodium salt or salt substitute like low salt because they contain a lot of potassium. Using this with spironolactone can cause your potassium level to become too high. Try to limit other food and drinks that contain a lot of potassium, including bananas, avocados, pulses, nuts, and salmon. So who can and cannot take spironolactone? So most adults, including older people, can take spironolactone. Children can take it from birth if it's prescribed by a specialist, specialist children's doctor. Who may not be able to take spironolactone? Spironolactone is not suitable for some people. To make sure it's safe for you, tell your doctor before starting to take the medicine. If you have ever had an allergic reaction to spironolactone or any other medicine, have severe kidney problems or are unable to pee, have Addison's disease, a hormone imbalance that causes weakness, weight loss and low blood pressure, have ever had high levels of potassium in your blood. Children with moderate to severe kidney disease shall not take cyprolactone. So how and when to take cyprolactone? Dosage and strength. Spironolactone tablets come in set of 12.5 mg, 25 mg, 50 mg, and 100 mg. How much spironolactone you need to take depends on why you are taking it. Your dose might need to be changed for a few times before you find the dose that's right for you. The usual dose for adults is heart failure. 25 mg once a day as a starting dose, depending on how well it works for you. The dose can be from 25 mg every other day to 50 mg once a day. Boiled up of fluid caused by liver disease between 100 mg and 400 mg a day. What they might cause by heart failure? 100 mg a day as a starting dose. Depending on well it works for you, the dose can be between 25 mg and 200 mg a day. 
Nephrotic syndrome, a condition caused by kidney disease, between 100 mg and 200 mg a day. High aldosterone levels, 400 mg a day as a starting dose for a few days to a few weeks. To check if high aldosterone levels are the cause of your symptoms, once confirmed, the long-term dose can be between 100 mg and 400 mg a day. High blood pressure, hypertension 25 mg a day. Doses are usually lower for people over 65 years as they may be more likely to get side effects. For babies and children, your child's doctor will use your child weight or age to work out the right dose. How to take it? You will usually take cyprinolactone once a day in the morning. If you are taking a high dose, you might need to take cyprinolactone twice a day. If you are taking it twice a day, it make, make sure you take the second dose no later than 4 p.m. Taking it later, this might mean you have to wake up at the night. Some people only need to take it once every two days. Take cyprinolactone with, um, with a meal to help reduce side effects such as feeling sick. Swallow the tablets whole with a drink of water. Do not chew them at all. How long to take it for? Depending on the person uh, and depending on the reason why you are taking cyprinolactone, you may have to take it for a long time, even for the rest of your life. Talk to your doctor if you want to stop taking cyprinolactone. If you stop it too soon, your condition might get worse. If you are bothered by side effects, your doctor may be able to prescribe you a different medicine. So if you forgot to take it, if you forget to take a dose of cyprinolactone, take it as soon as you remember, unless it's after 6 p.m. In this case, skip the missed dose and take your next dose at the usual time the next day. Do not take two doses to make up for a forgotten dose. If you often forget doses, it may help to set an alarm to remind you. You can also ask your pharmacist for advice on other ways to help you remember to take your medicine. Guys, that was the video for today. Do not, uh, please, uh, do not take any medicine without referring to a doctor. And please guys do not forget to uh, hit the like button in this video. It will help me to do more videos in the future. And please guys, uh, if you have any question, leave them in the comment section uh, and I will be more than happy to answer all your questions. Thank you very much guys for watching my video. I see you in the next videos, so uh, be sure that you subscribe. Thank you very much.